Welcome to another episode of Label Studio Bytes. In this episode, we'll explore how to connect your Label Studio project to your cloud storage AWS S3 using IAM Role Access Trust Policy. First, I will outline the steps, call for prerequisites, and then jump into a live demonstration. Overall, the steps are comprised of creating a trust policy in AWS, creating IAM policies for source and target buckets, creating an IAM role granting the above policies, and finally, connecting your AWS cloud storage to your Label Studio project using your organization's external ID. Before we begin, there are two prerequisites. The first, you will need your enterprise external ID. It is a 32 character string that can be found in the bottom left corner of the Label Studio Enterprise Organization page. Copy this value to the clipboard and paste it somewhere safe to use later. Additionally, you must already have at least two S3 buckets created. They will serve as your source and target buckets for this tutorial. Creating S3 buckets is out of scope for this brief tutorial, but you may find instructions on the AWS website. Once you've created your buckets, let's dive into the live demonstration. In AWS, we'll need to create policies for a source and target storage. Click on Create Policy. Click on JSON. And then enter the following policy. Note the available actions for this policy are to list and to get objects. Now, you'll need to swap the your bucket name placeholder with the bucket name you have within your AWS. Now, click Tags, click Next, enter a name for the policy. Feel free to enter a description. And finally, create the policy. Now, we will repeat the steps that we just executed to create a target policy. Note that the available actions differ a bit with the target policy in that this policy allows Label Studio to put and to delete objects as well. Again, please swap your bucket name with the S3 bucket name you have as your target bucket in AWS. As before, click Tags, then Next, and add a name and description for this target policy. Now that we've established our bucket policies, we need to create a role that will make use of them. From your IAM main page, please click on Roles, then Create Role, Custom Trust Policy, and please enter this policy. You will need to change the external ID into the ID that was assigned to you within your Label Studio organization. Now, we'll need to add the two bucket policies that we created earlier for both source and target buckets. Select them from the table and click Next. Now, enter a name for the role and then click Create Role. Choose the role that you just created and copy the ARN value at the top of the screen. You will need this value to use in Label Studio. Now, let's head over to Label Studio into the project that you will connect to this cloud storage. Note that my data manager is empty. Click on Settings, Cloud Storage, Source Storage, Select AWS S3 IAM role, enter a source title, then enter the bucket name. If you want to select a specific kind of file, such as CSVs, or uh, if you want to select JPEGs, you can enter filter here, or you can leave it empty, and it will import anything inside the folder. Select your region and finally enter your ARN number. 
If applicable, select Treat Every Object as a Source File, then click on Add Storage. Sync the storage. And finally, we'll take a look at our Data Manager and see that all of the files have been imported from our AWS S3 source bucket. To recap, we created two IAM S3 bucket policies for source and target, created a role that made use of these policies using a trust policy, and finally connected our cloud storage to our project. Once again, thank you for joining another episode of Label Studio Enterprise Bytes, where we walk you through simple bite-sized instructions for Label Studio Enterprise. To learn more, please visit labelstudio.io, where you can view our documentation and learn how to install our open source version. But if you're ready to get started with a free trial for Enterprise Solution, please visit www.hardtext.com to learn more about our free Enterprise Trial Program.